So in this video, we're going to be going over how you can set up your model in YouTube Studio, how you can optimize the settings, or the tracking settings within VTube Studio, and also outside of VTube Studio, and how to set up toggles. You first have to open the zip file after you download it and copy the folder. Once you have copied the folder, you then come into VTube Studio, click on the model icon and then import your own model. You click open folder and this should load up uh, the Live2D model folder and you would paste your model folder into here. Once you've done that, you can cross it out and click OK. Then you re-click on the model icon and then you click Unload Model, which will refresh your model list. And as you can see down here, we have VTuber Cloud, which is this model that we're using for this tutorial video. You want to make sure to click Auto Setup. Otherwise, your VTuber model will not be tracked. Um, so auto setup and then click OK. And now you can see our model is tracking, but we can improve this further. Next, we're going to take a look at the settings. So we're going to click on the model settings and turn this off. And then we're going to optimize the tracking settings in VTube Studio. So ideally for this, you want to have your uh, tracking on so that you can see uh, how you want to set certain things. You can turn the physics up a bit if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend maxing it out because as you can see, it looks very uh, jagged and not very smooth. So uh, I would say keep it to default or you could try going a little extra. Um, then we have the face left and right rotation. So I really need to turn my head when I want to show off the angles, which isn't really ideal if you want a very animated look with minimal movement. So in order to do this, you want to change the input of this to a lower number. So for me, I'm going to go with 15 because I don't really like moving around too much. So we'll go to minus 15 to 15. And now it's a lot easier for me to show off these angles without moving my head like an insane amount. Uh, next, we're gonna go to face up and down and we're gonna do the same thing. Um, yeah, you can't really see the cute bouncy effect because I really need to tilt my head up and down to the point where I'm not even looking at the screen. So uh, we can change this. Let's try a five, although this might be a little too extreme. But I do want it quite bouncy, so let's see. Okay, this might be a little too much. As you can see, the little um, red dot, it just kind of gets stuck, which makes it, again, not look very smooth. So let's change this to 10. I like this a lot better. And then we can do face lean. So this is like the Z angle. So when you like tilt your head side to side. Now that is, this is really hard for me to do with these current settings. So let's try a uh, 20. Uh, this is the tilt. So this isn't too bad. I still need to move my head quite a bit, but is better than what it was before you can even lower that number if you want but again watch the red dot you don't want it to go all the way and just get stuck because then it just kind of makes your model uh, look less smooth um, and the body X we can't really see the X movement too much so let's try 15 see how this goes 15 and this kind of gets stuck. Let's go with 20. 20 seems to be a good number for a lot of these. Okay, that's a lot better. Um, again with Y. So we want the nice bounce bounce. Uh, let me just zoom out a bit. 
I mean, that's good, but I feel like I'm still having to move too much and it's not really going too far. So let's try 15. Okay, that's a lot better. I like this. So you really want to have your camera on and be testing this yourself because I feel like different, uh, depending on what camera you use, this might be a little too much. The settings required could be a bit different. Okay, that's better. It doesn't quite hit the bar. I do just like normal movements. Uh, body Z. I do have a bit of a body Z rigged into this. Not too much. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Mm, and then you can also, uh, wouldn't really mess with the eyes or anything. Um, because I think those are set fine, but you can have a play around and see how you would like to, uh, set it up. Uh, let's see, for mouth smile. Now, my character seems to be smiling a lot, even when I'm not smiling. So let's try 0 0.1. Okay, yeah, this is a lot better. Uh, mouth open. I think the open is fine. Okay, so that's basically it for the tracking, how you can optimize your tracking in VTube Studio. As you can see, it's a big improvement from before. If you're using a webcam, make sure to uh, use your model in a well-lit area so uh, your model can be tracked accordingly to your movements. If you wear glasses, there might be cases where the eye tracking doesn't work work very well I'm a person that wears glasses so um, I have come across this issue before um, if you want similar tracking to mine um, I'm just gonna go over my setup this isn't a requirement it's just if for anyone that wants to know um, so I use the uh, iPhone 8 mini I believe I downloaded iFish or mocap on the iPhone and then I downloaded VBridger and VTube Studio so iFacial mocap connects to VBridger and VBridger connects to VTube Studio. Now I'm not going to go through the whole process of how to set that up there's plenty of videos that you can find on YouTube if you're curious about how to do that but I feel like the tracking is a lot smoother and more expressive than using a webcam or a regular phone tracking so yeah uh, lastly we're gonna go over uh, toggles so to set up toggles so for this model i have uh, several toggles that allows you to turn things and on and off on your model the reason i made this model is because someone was asked me on my Etsy if I would be making a model that they could use with my VTuber assets that I sell. So I do have toggles on here that allows for easier uh, use with assets. So for example, you can take off um, the clothing or you can take off parts of the hair, you can take off the accessories. I don't really have any shoe assets but you can also take off the shoes just in case it doesn't match with the rest of your outfit but then you will have to put up with bare feet. So yeah but not humanoid bare feet, kind of strange bare feet but okay. <laughs> so uh, let's test this out. So you click on expression editor, you can create, click on create new expression select and then you these are the toggles so I've set them up so that they're near the top um, so they don't get mixed up with all the parameters so for example if I want to take uh, the jacket off I would uh, set it to one and give the expression a name so we'll call this jacket off click save and then you can create several new uh, more expressions so you can actually combine more than one if you think you'll be using like a certain look quite often so for example if I don't want the ear back on and I want like a little ponytail you know we can do that 
or just say if we well, we want to use like a hand arm asset a plush asset arm plush you can like make an arm invisible um if you yeah or if you want to remove the shirt or the skirt you can have it set to do that so and we'll take off the choker so yeah we can use this as like a base uh, let's take off the clips too. Clips off. Okay, that's that's more easier to understand. Okay, so there. So we set two toggles. Then we can click on create new hotkeys for all unused expressions. Click select, click OK, and then you have like your things here. Now all you have to do is set up the keys for that. So let's go with middle mouse button. I was going with middle mouse button for some reason. And we'll go with number one. So this will allow me to easily take the clothes off so I can uh, use it with some of my other assets. Okay, so now I'm going to show how these toggles work with assets. So I'm going to click the one for the clothes off. This is one asset that I have in my store. Um, you would obviously uh, toggle the hands off too or the lower arms off. just need to correctly have it set up and then yeah you could do cute outfit outfit changes with other assets i have in my store so yeah that's it for the video i hope you guys found it helpful and yeah 